Hope everyone's doing well out there. This is Angie coming at you from my living room. And I just want to remind you guys to sign up for our summer reading challenge if you haven't done that already. It's super simple. To do that, you'll just go to tscpl.org slash summer and follow the process. All right. So today, I'm going to teach you guys how to finger knit if you don't know already. And it's really simple. All you'll need for it is your hands and some yarn. I'm using three different kinds of yarn to give it um, a little more thickness and but you can do it with one or more and so to start you'll just get it between your thumb and your forefinger like that and then you're just going to wrap it around your fingers like so and we're going to go back so it'll look like that and then we're going to do it again back and forth so this is how you want it to look so you have two sections of yarn on each finger and we're going to take the yarn on your small finger uh, on the, the bottom part of the yarn and pull it over the top. And we're going to do that on all your fingers, bottom section of yarn over the top, and when you get to your first finger just throw that behind. Um, then you're going to want to scooch this down to the base of your fingers, that's where you're going to work from, and we're going to do it again, back and forth. And then base over the top, base over the top, base over the top, base over the top. And once you get a rhythm going, this is a really great activity because it gives you that, that activity that lets you focus on other things because it's not something that's going to require a lot of attention from you. So this is something I like to do while I listen to audiobooks or watch movies. Uh, mainly listen to audiobooks lately though. I'm trying to do a little bit less screen time because I feel like I feel like that's a lot of what I've been doing lately is being on screens. So just want to keep going until you get it long enough or as long as you want it, um, which can take a while or not depending on what you're trying to make. And really it's as far as your imagination will take you for what you can make for this. My favorite thing to make is scarves for my dogs, and let me tell you, they love it so much um, because it's summer and, you know, they need scarves for summer, right? Alright, so you'll just want to keep going and it'll go off the back of your hand like that. I'm going to pull this one off. And it's super easy if you make a mistake to undo it too because it will just all pull right back apart until you secure it at the end. But if you, if you keep going, you wind up with a scarf for your dogs, which might have something if your cat got a hold of it. Come here, Nadia. Come model for us. Come here. So what you'll need for this is a super cute puppy. Make her a scarf. And there you go. See? And you can listen to your audiobooks while you do it. I'll link some fun audiobooks below if you guys are looking for some recommendations. And here we are. We hope you guys are having a great day out there. And we hope to see you again at the library soon.